In our house, we have this toy trumpet made from tin. It's a bit sad, battered and tired looking now, like a lot of us this Christmas. It is colourful though, but don't be fooled. The noise it makes is excruciating. There's nothing musical about it. But it's precious to me because it brings back memories of Christmas's past in our family. It's been passed down through a number of generations and put on Colton Christmas trees through the years. I asked a friend who knows about old things and antiques and he said he thought it dated to the 1930s, certainly before the Second World War, he said, because during those war years, metal wouldn't have been squandered on something so frivolous. And sure enough, I looked online and saw a similar one being offered for sale on an auction site. And 1930s it is. And then I thought, if only this toy trumpet could tell me what it has seen from its place on our family tree through the generations. The Great Depression, the rise of Nazism in Europe, the Second World War, the Cold War, the 1960s. And then it came into my parents' home where it saw the oil crisis, the troubles in Northern Ireland, and unemployment in our own home. It saw my parents at those Christmases of 1976 and 1977 when I was at school in Canada and away from home and they couldn't afford to fly me home. And then the toy trumpet came to Susan and my home when we married, when we lived in Lisburn and Belfast in the 1980s, in Dublin in the 1990s, and back to Cork in 1999. So it's seen all our joys, the challenging times, and the changing scene of our family. In years to come, at the end of the day, there's every likelihood that someone will say, where did that come from? It's an awful thing, or it might break or decay and someone will throw it out. Unlike this trumpet, unlike everything else around us, the Christmas message endures. It doesn't fade. Weird, messy and awful as this Christmas is for many people, it is still Christmas. The Christmas message is there for you and for me as it has been through all the Christmases of history. And more than that, this message isn't only for Christmas, it's for every day and for every situation in which we find ourselves. St. Matthew tells us that the baby born in the manger would be named Emmanuel, which means God is with us. This is at the heart of the Christian message that God, the God of love, of grace, of healing, of hope, of salvation, is indeed with us. St. John described Jesus in a way that we can understand as light in darkness, and speaking about Jesus, he said, in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And this is what we celebrate and proclaim. So wherever you are, I wish you all a holy Christmas and pray that you will find joy and peace in the good news of Christmas.